I finally got to watch my first hockey game ever here in Canada after five years of living here. I know. We got tickets from my husband's office and it was just so exciting. And heads up guys, I know almost nothing about hockey. I was learning a lot about it while watching. So to all you hockey fans out there, feel free to leave your comments down below. Share anything notable about the players, the game, the rules and so on. Let's start. So we're going to Scotiabank Arena which is in downtown Toronto and taking the subway. We're heading to Union Station as you can see here on the map and already you can see a ton of people wearing Maple Leafs jerseys. Here we're getting off at Union Station and there are just so many people. In case you've never been to Union Station before, it's an attraction by itself. Plenty of food stalls so you won't go hungry. You can eat here first before the game but there are also a lot of food stalls inside. Heading to Scotiabank Arena and there it is! Scotiabank Arena is in Toronto. It's a multi-purpose arena uh, on Bay Street in the South Core district of downtown Toronto and it's pretty huge. So queuing here and luckily we already had our tickets. We went through super fast. Our bags got checked here and by the way only very small bags are allowed. Uh, no backpacks and there's also no coat check. And there we are! A sea of people. And this is what the map looks from above, by the way. Our seats are going to be in section 107, so really great seats. So taking a look around, there are tons of food stalls here selling anything from pizza, fries, hot dogs, popcorn, drinks. Yes, a lot of alcohol and even sushi, so you won't starve here. But the pricing, yeah, it's pretty pricey. A beer here can cost $14 and up. There are also fan merchandise stores in case you want to buy a jersey. So heading in now so excited it's about 15 minutes before the game everything is lit in blue it's a very nice atmosphere and we even got time for some photos here so the game's not really starting yet but the toronto maple leafs players are coming out for all of us to see and there they are really cool jerseys i'm really loving the blue color and it's so fun to watch so toronto maple leafs here and on the other side, we have Minnesota Wild from the United States. The great thing is that over here at these seats, you can actually order drinks and food. So this guy here, this staff member is going around and taking orders, but the service is only available for Platinum or Scotia Club seat holders. And there's a menu at these seats. Um, so here, for example, a sandwich costs $23, popcorn $10. Um, wine 14 to 16 dollars 50 and so on so most people had team jerseys on and we didn't have any but at least i guess we were wearing the right color blue and not green or something so we felt really lucky to have gotten these seats here these are really awesome seats the view is really great from over here and guys the game is starting pretty soon the fans are getting super excited as you can see over here so a ton of people are wearing jerseys with the name matthews here so i had no idea what this was about in the beginning why he's so popular but i guess you'll see later matthews again over here and over there so before the game starts, there's this ice res resurfacer here that goes over the ice just to make sure that everything's smooth. Now the announcement of the referees. So the National Hockey League or NHL actually has four uh referees no not four referees two referees and two linesmen. Now the players are coming out to start the game. So while waiting, here are some basics I learned about hockey. There are six players on the field at any time, uh, which consists of the goaltender, right and left defense, center, right and left wing. Players coming out all looking really impressive. And there they are again on the ice about to start the game in a few minutes. The Toronto Maple Leafs and Minnesota Wild from the USA. So everyone's starting to get into position. First off, the national anthem of the United States is sung. And after that, the Canadian national anthem, sung by the same person. She did a really good job. And people in the crowd were singing along as well, at least those who knew the lyrics. Oh, this was really nice. Seeing the flag carried across. 
And you notice by now the stadium is packed. It's super packed. So the game is starting now. Okay. And watching them play for the first time, I was just amazed at how well the players moved on the ice. I mean, I can skate around a bit on the ice, but I could never imagine like skating around while holding a huge hockey stick and playing against your opponent. So the other thing uh, that's so obvious is that the gold frame is so tiny. I mean, compared to soccer, of course. And it's funny how once in a while everyone bunches up in front of it. And trying to zoom in a bit here you see the full teams of um, both teams the Leafs and Minnesota Wild on the benches and I love how they have this huge screen here that you can watch uh, also for replays very important especially and another short break cleaning is going on again and they're actually doing it quite often which is awesome so over here, this is quite hilarious, the mascot of the Toronto Maple Leafs throwing t-shirts into the crowd. Unfortunately, I did not get a t-shirt. Um, so this is Carlton the Bear. The name is based on Carlton Street in Toronto that used to be the Leafs home arena back then. Okay guys, we're a few minutes into the game and there's not even a goal yet, but there's already a fight going on. <laughs> And I was actually wondering why they're not being separated immediately by the referee. Um, perhaps to just let them fight it out? If anyone can explain more to me about this, please do let me know in the comments below. So really a spectacle for everyone to watch. So in the end, the player or players got penalties, got taken off the ice for a few minutes. By the way, the announcer said that if the Maple Leafs scored first, then everyone would get a slice of pizza from Pizza Pizza. But at minute 932, Minnesota Wild scored its first goal, giving Minnesota a 1-2-0 lead. They're super happy, at least for now. So there you have it, one, two, one. But just shortly after, a minute or so, the Toronto Maple Leafs scored its first goal at a minute um, 10.54 by Matthews, Austin Matthews. And now I kind of understand why everyone's wearing a jersey with his name. So far, it's super exciting and it's really heating up. A hockey game is 60 minutes long which consists of three periods yes it's called periods so not quarters half time a uh, three periods lasting 20 minutes each and we're now in the first period and do you believe it there's another fight a second fight and we're still in the first period and to be honest i never really know what's going on because i can't see it that clearly suddenly everything stops and people are staring and cheering on there you go there's the replay and as you can see, it was kind of difficult to separate them. It took a while, but the game continues. Shortly after, the Leafs scored its second goal at minute 12.35. Wow, hockey is really a super fast game. It's not like when watching soccer. Sometimes I watch the World Cup and as you know, it can take so long until a team scores, sometimes even not until the end of the second half time. But I guess it's just the nature of the game. So in hockey, everything happens very fast. So the score is 2-1 now for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And the second goal was scored by John Tavares. Game continues. And a third goal! for the Leafs at minute 1937, still in the first period, by Nylander this time. So after the first period has passed, 20 minutes, uh, we went out for a break. Most people left the arena, either go to the washroom or buy some food. And yes, in the end, we caved and we bought some fries as well. So here I am back at the arena, waiting for the second period to start with my fries this time. And we finished those in like a minute or two. And the game's starting again, and at minute 335, another fourth goal by Bertuzzi for the Leafs, which extends the lead to 4-1 to for the Leafs. Really, they're doing an awesome job. I can only imagine how a Minnesota Wild team must feel at this moment, but things can still turn around. Will they? Okay, Carlton the Bear is, I would say, the craziest thing I've seen in a long time. Just look at his moves. 
so far it was really fun and while I was watching suddenly I saw a big cloth passed uh, over my head when I looked across I saw that it was actually a huge blue flag with the letters go leaves go passed around and I just thought that was really cool we're at a uh, foghorn level and Boeing 747 jet engine volcano erupting and we got to Saturday night in Toronto okay <laughs> So things happen so fast guys, by the way, just after 34 seconds, Minnesota Wild scored another goal and then at minute 9.51 another goal bringing the score to 4-3. To so now we're at the start of the third period guys, last chance for both teams and the game starting again. And this is really interesting by the way guys. I notice that every time the game pauses, uh, music is played, but then once they start, the music is turned off again. And I think that's just a very great touch because everyone knows what's going on very easily. And guys, because this was my first game, of course, I tried to follow the game as closely as possible. I tried to follow the puck and see where it was going, but of course, things were happening so fast and after a while, I just got a tiny bit dizzy. <laughs> And by the way, did you notice these high nets? I guess they help to prevent anyone getting a puck in their face. Because the pucks do sometimes fly up pretty high. And while I was reading up on that, I found out that the NHL actually freezes the pucks so they don't bounce off the ice. Interesting. So this is the last period, guys, and the score is still 4-3. to three, But pretty soon we're going to see the next goal. And yes, another goal. Great job. So this is Maple Leaf's fifth goal happening in the third period, almost 10 minutes in. Woohoo! Good job. So with only nine minutes left for the game, it's looking very, very good for the Leafs. Yes, indeed, because shortly after there was a sixth goal by Matthews again. Victory is near and people are starting to throw their hats into the ring. Everyone's getting so excited. 8 minutes, 50 seconds to go. And a 7th goal by the Leafs at minute 12, 14. <laughs> so guys, it's really difficult to follow the game, especially because the goal was actually quite far away. It was difficult to see what was exactly going on, whether the puck was in or not. So how I found out that a goal was scored is basically when everyone stood up and cheered and shouted and yeah. And there was this replay on the screen. So the seventh goal scored by William Nylander, one of the top players too, I assume. So the anticipation for a win is rising now and people are starting to do this cool stadium wave. And it went around for, I think about five times or even more. So there I am lifting my arms <laughs> and again and again, 50 seconds to go. So guys, somewhere at minute 1732, the Minnesota Wild team got their fourth goal in, but it's too late anyway. It's too late now. Let's go home, the announcer said. I'm not sure if you heard that. So we didn't get a slice of pizza, but we got a win. It's a wrap. Yay. And the game is finished with the Toronto Maple Leafs winning the game with a score of 7 to 4. So we didn't get a slice of pizza, but we got a great victory. Everyone was super happy and excited and we decided to leave the arena immediately before all the exit ways would get clogged with people. And the Toronto Maple Leafs flag presented once more beautiful. So guys, I had so much fun watching the game. It was such an awesome experience and I really recommend you to go and watch a game at least once in person if you can. So that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you pretty soon in the next one. Bye.